Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add the new users to your organization account or Microsoft 365 account so that you can invite new users, have meetings with them and assign the Microsoft Teams app to the employees that are there within your organization. Now, if you're a big organization, obviously you will be having the Active Directory thousands and employees that will be automatically, that can be automatically provisioned, right? But if you are someone who is a small business and have just signed up for Microsoft 365 and want to allocate the apps Microsoft 365 apps to your employees then we you can go to the Microsoft admin center okay 365 admin center and in the admin center if you just go to the home page right so you just need to go to admin.microsoft.com home page right so you'll see the link appears here and if you just scroll down you will see the section of the user management so wherein you can add the user edit existing user reset the password for the user and delete the user for your organization account so if uh, in the left hand side you will see the active users as well so if i click on the active users you will see that the active users that are there that are being added will be available now there are different options to basically add the user you can add you can see that these are the users who are basically unlicensed right and then you can also allocate the user with the licensed with with the licenses as well so they they can have the access complete access with microsoft 365 apps that are available in the license now these are the external accounts right so if say for example somebody um, is external to your organization okay and you want to simply invite them then obviously you can also invite the external users so how we can basically go ahead and add the user so let's go to the home again and then we'll go to the user management and from user management we'll say add user okay or we'll go to the active users and then simply click on add user and it will prompt the username and password so we'll simply say i want to add the employee here and then it will automatically take the display name if you want to change it you can change it and in the username i'll simply use the username all right and then the next option is automatically create a password and then require this user to change their password when they first sign in okay so if they first sign in then they can go ahead and change the password then you can send the password in email upon completion all right so here you can specify whom you can who you you need to send this password simply click on next right select the location and then here you have to assign the licenses to the employees and then you have the option to whether to assign the license or you can create the user without a product license which is not recommended because then they won't be having any access to the apps from your organization so we'll simply go ahead and assign the user a product license and you choose 365 business basic and then this is anyways free so microsoft power automate right now with this you have to basically pay right so if you are assigning a product license obviously you have to pay for the license that will be utilized by the employee that you are adding here okay so simply click on next and then you will see manage your subscriptions in billing your products so you'll see that it will automate it will charge approximately 8.2 per month okay and this will be kind of another license so i'll simply say okay go ahead yes and this license will be added and allocated for this particular user or the employee that I have added in my organization so it is basically going ahead and buying so it will uh, use the existing uh, payment details and then allocate a product license to the new user that I have already added right so you'll see that these are the if you go to the apps these are all the apps that the employee will get access to okay and then you will see here we have got that we have bought a uh, new license for the user and then we can go ahead and simply click on next then you will get the option of the role right so i don't want to provide any admin access to this particular uh, employee so i'll simply choose no admin access but if you want to provide admin center access and then provide different roles accordingly then you can select these check boxes here okay so we'll simply choose no admin ac center access and then we simply go ahead and click on 
next. So now you will see that the username and password will be generated next and we can go ahead and send the details username and password detail to the employee and they can go ahead and sign up so we'll simply go ahead and finish adding and microsoft uh, 365 admin center will add this particular user configure everything and then the user has been added successfully right so it is an active user if you scroll down here you'll see all the other details so if you want to add new user again so you can click on add another user or if you have finished adding then click on close let me copy the username and password so i can send it to the user and they can sign in into the teams account so let me close this and if you go to the active users you will see that this particular user has been added and having the licenses here right and then the other user that i have added in my organization is unlicensed okay so now if i go back to teams here right and if we go back here so previously you would have seen that when i was trying to search for say for example a user right so the the people within the organization were not available so now because i have added these people in the organization so i can see that particular user is available now the other user uh, nishan should be available as well right so you'll see that the other user is also available okay and if we search again let me search and search people right so you'll see nishant s is the new one that i have just added if i click on nishant s now with this particular user i can go ahead and have the video call audio call schedule meeting and because these are uh, the members of my organization i can go ahead and do day-to-day -day activities collaborate and work together with the employees that have been added in my microsoft 365 account right so in the teams the users won't automatically appear either you have to add them as an external user or if you want them to be part of the organization and work collaboratively then you have to make sure that you assign the licenses to the users that are there added in your organization and basically go ahead and um, collaborate with them okay so that's all for this particular tutorial on how to add users in microsoft 365 so that they are available in microsoft teams and you can collaborate and work together with your um, team members within microsoft team that's all uh, i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching